Hey, what's up, YouTubers? How y'all doing? I'm doing great. So, guess what movie I just watched last Friday? I finally saw Rampage. You know, honestly, I had fun with this movie. I don't know why it's getting bad review. Not bad. Why Rotten Tomatoes saying it's terrible, it's stupid, and people are saying... I actually enjoyed it, actually. I had fun with the movie. I enjoyed seeing Dwayne Johnson. I, just, I enjoyed seeing Naomi... Naomi, well, I think Harris? I think that's what... Yeah, Naomi Harris, and then my one only favorite actor, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. If you guys know Negan from the... The Walking Dead. So the story talks about so there's this this chemical, this deadly chemical called CRISPR, which is like it was in outer space actually. Then it like so the scene opens where they're like there's like this giant mutated rat in the space and the girl's trying to get out and then like she she dies on she the spaceship explodes and then she dies along with it and then those those CRISPR goes down and then it, the scene opens is when when Dwayne Johnson takes up uh, his uh friends to the to the uh George to uh, the to the gorilla exhibit, which which where, which where he found his buddy George, which was the albino gorilla. He he then shows him around, and then he sees this uh, young old young gorilla that's like trying to flirt with these female gorillas, and then like and then George, the rocks all like, you know what to do, you know how to deal with hostile hostile animals, you know. And then he was just like, and then like th that young girl started started to attack that young to attack one of the other guys, and then uh. And then George comes to rescue and saves him. And then he's like doing like body language language with George. Like George is understanding Dwayne Johnson because you remember in the trailers he says he rescued George, George when he was like two years old, and like he understands Dwayne Johnson. I mean, and that yeah, I like keep like, I love how, how the gorilla puts the middle finger every time. I'm like damn animals know how to flip people off now. <laughs> well, it's because gorillas have human like hands too. I mean apes, apes have human like hands. I mean that was just pretty funny and and then the so then um uh, the so like the rock feels like he loves hanging around more with animals than he than with humans he likes enjoys he like considers animals as more of his friends than humans you know you know in the in the movie you know but then later on that night something happens like like two like uh these two like like crisper like the the chemicals that land right into a one lands into George's exhibit, one goes into the Wyoming, which is where they find the wolf. And then uh, one goes into Florida, Everglades. And then the villains behind CRISPR are like uh, these uh, two people. And then, damn, Joe Magdalena was in the movie. I'm going to spoil this for you guys. They killed him off in the movie by the wolf. That scene with the wolf, my God, that was intense, actually. Actually, because, damn, they were going after those those three animals, the gorilla, the crocodile, and the wolf. They became giant mutated monsters. And then... Uh, George, if you guys saw in the trailer, he's in sitting in that cave. He ends up in a grizzly bear enclosure, and he damn, he took the shit out of that grizzly bear, and damn, that was, and then he was just like, he's like Dwayne Johnson realizes he's he's not the normal size he was before. He's a lot more bigger, and then they realize that they have to put him in the, in the enclosure. And they have to find out what caused all this, and they find out that it's CRISPR, and these these bad guys are behind this, and they're trying to mutate these animals into like giant monsters monsters and then the scene cuts so then the the raw so then out of nowhere george loses control he jumps out of his enclosure he goes after he then he goes on a little rampage in the san diego zoo and then they have to put trank they have to like trank tranquilize george and then they have to like like calm him down put him in a, like a secret facility and then they and then the scene cuts later to where the rock meets negan actually he's negan jeffrey dean Moore plays russell somebody yeah he plays a plays a char a character in the show and uh, he wants to uh, he wants to he tell yeah Dwayne Johnson warns Jeffrey what, the rock his character Davis Okoye I think that's his name he warns that you keep getting George on that plane is not a good idea and it's a big mistake and he knows that what's gonna happen you know and then and then I like always the rock Jeffrey Dean Morgan's like I think we're gonna be okay and then the rock got up in his face and he's like you want to He's like calling him brother, and he's like, really want to cuff these hook right now? I'll show you, brother. I'm like, ooh, I thought it was going to be a confrontation between Jeffrey Dean Morgan and The Rock. Yeah, but this time he didn't play a bad guy in the show. He's actually playing the good guy. And then he actually helps them get out. He helps them actually get out, you know. And then the scene where, where that damn, that wolf was eating him. He, he, I liked how was that, how that one scene where he says, like, how Jeffrey Dean Morgan says, says, oh, you, like, they think, oh, your monkey's, the, oh, your oversized monkey's old news. You didn't know about the thirty foot wolf. They find out that it didn't just only that that chemical did not just mutate George only mutated another another animal too. Two other animals mutated a wolf, but they didn't know about it mutated a crocodile in Florida. I'm like, damn. 
I was like, damn, those, damn, that scene was intense. I, I really actually enjoyed it. Even the scene when they're on top of the building, they go down. That scene was intense, actually. I got to say, I enjoyed this movie more than I enjoyed Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim wasn't that good compared to this one. I think this was good, honestly. And it's already becoming the number one movie in America, you know. And I don't know why, why people said, why people on Fandango, like, people were saying on all the critics were saying it's garbage. I thought it was pretty fun. I always a roller co good roller coaster ride. The graphics look amazing. The monsters looked incredible. I can't wait. I, I really, I, I wish it, but I could have wish I saw it in IMAX, you know, because this movie could have been cooler seeing it in IMAX. But, you know, I still enjoyed it. I still had fun with this movie. Even this, even the giant crocodile, my God, when they were in Chicago, that scene was just incredible. They shot this movie in California, Wyoming, and in Florida, and then they shot it in Chicago because, you know, the rock work, it worked at the San Diego Zoo. And then he tells his backstory about how he rescued George, that George's mom, George's parents were murdered by poachers. And he was actually, The Rock was actually, I think he's an ex-military guy. And then he became a primatologist, actually. Yeah, it was, I mean, I really had enjoyed this movie, by the way. It was fun. It was just, I mean, there were some pretty corny jokes in the movie. There were, there was some pretty cheesy dialogue, but I mean, still was a good movie. I still had fun with this film and I... Really enjoyed it. I probably might watch it again when it comes on DVD. If you guys liked my review, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.